We are gathered to celebrate the end of our journey. We have all made our way through seven years of primary school. I think you'll all agree that our final year at St. Bridget's has been an interesting one. We've had lockdowns, isolations, masks, home learning, and a whole lot more to continue. It has happened over our final years at primary school. We are just glad to be back in the building at this point. We would like to thank all, all of you in the audience for the coming our stand and teach us when we need support at home. Now you know why the holidays are so long. to normal than ever, we won't forget those who have sadly passed away. We would like to ask to, you to join us in a prayer, remembering all those dear to us who have passed on. Let us pray, our Father. Amen. Amen. Behind it, 
on the start and the start showing the feet up. Look. <laughs> Is that what you do? And I've told you numerous times. I would say a million times, but I don't like to exaggerate. I've told you so many times that you are really the most amazing Prime Minister in Apple Trust. I don't just mean this in this. I've been in this job for 30 years, and you are literally, and I mean literally, in the truest sense of the word, the best Prime Minister that we could have asked for. The children have come and gone, moved into the town, moved away from the town, but your community has done a deal for us every single time. Children are dropped in from other places, and they are made to feel so welcome right away, and that's because of you. You are quite amazing. And I suppose this year, of all years, I'll use the phrase simply the best. I would never use that normally. <laughs> but I'll give you it this year, Mr. Lee. Because this will be recorded and we'll see it in the future. And you'll remember this is the one year of doing this one week. We'll go back to normal next year, don't we? So, yes. And you know how we used to always put up the big sign that said, Be the best you can be? Well, you have been. You have been. You are simply amazing. And I know I use the word awesome a lot. Too much, probably. But no one I'm talking about you. So go to Gavin. Go to St. Matt's. Go to Greg. Go and prove what we've said about you already. Through all our meetings with your secondary school to say that they are pure dead jammy to begin with you. And it's not often we say that. Normally we say, you're lucky to get a few of them, but oh my goodness, what about him and him and him and him and him and him. No, we've done that this year. You didn't have to. So go. I know you'll have a different badge on your chest, but we wear yours the longest. So remember that, please. One St. Bridget's, always St. Bridget's. And you know that we will so love to see you back. Pop in for a visit, pop in and say hello, come and see us. Because we are going to miss you. Millions and millions. So, a couple of days to go, let's enjoy them. And to everyone at home, thank you so much for your support this year. It really has truly been an effort beyond comparable previous years that we've had. We've never had to do this before. So thank you. And maybe just to put him right in the spot, because they're right in the room right now. Father Mark has just walked in the room. I think it'd be lovely for Father Mark to say a few words just before we finish. I had no idea it was going to be quite a lot. Pretty sudden, uh, it's a joy to be here today. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to catch the end of your graduation. I hope it's all going well. I know how much you put into today uh, to reflect on your seven years. It's difficult to try and encapsulate it in a few words. It's really hard, and to make sure you thank everyone who you need to thank is difficult. Was there the usual amount of tears? Okay, good, good. I know it's a very emotional occasion, it's very emotional for us as well, especially after the limited Prime Seven that you've had. You've not had every opportunity that other years have had, uh, but what you have had, you've used so well, and we're so proud of you. Uh, and that's true of the church, as much as it's true here uh, in the school as well. So just to echo what Mr Hopkins says, go forward with confidence, of course you'll have nerves, of course you'll be a bit excited about this step you're taking, but go forward with confidence uh, and believe in your gifts and talents and we need you to continue to grow and nurture them for the good of everyone. A big thank you to Mr Hawkins, uh, to Miss Walsh and Mr Leach, to all your uh, teachers who have uh, made such a, a, a great task of seeing through this year of, of remote learning, blended learning and your times here in school as well, and to everybody that's been a big influence for you. Should we finish off with a prayer, Mr Hopkins? Mr Hopkins got a few words to pray for. Has she? Of course she has. <laughs> Do you need the microphone, Miss Walsh? Yes. Come on up, come on up. <laughs> Father, 
I know you actually won't believe this, but I really don't like speaking in front of lots of people. Um, I would just, I can't actually believe that we're here today to say goodbye to my almost favourite class in the whole school. <laughs> um, I was actually getting a bit emotional thinking about it. I can't believe that I've been really lucky to teach you for, for four years, for lots of you, and the same for Miss Lilich for the past two years. Um, we have had a very different year, a very difficult year for some things, but we just want to say thank you for being amazing and thank you for being the best class and the easiest class in the school to teach. I think um, both Miss Lilich and I have been very lucky throughout lockdown, things that we have had you as a class because the effort and everything that you put into all your home learning was really good and we are going to miss you lots. Obviously Miss Lilich was late today because he always likes a sky, so we decided that it was break his ankle instead of coming to school. But hopefully Miss Lilich will be able to join us again for the next um, few hours and maybe we'll hopefully manage as well for Friday on our last day. But I just want to wish you well and hope that as you get to secondary, you do as well as you have here. And I'd like to invite Eva up just to finish us off with a prayer. Let us pray. God our Father, today we gather to say goodbye to Primary 7. Help us remember Help us remember them and always keep them in your hearts, love on their journey through secondary school. May they always remember that goodbye means what they wish you. Begin. There must be 